What's going on, y'all? Attorney Tom here. Time for the best part of the week, reacting to r slash Attorney Tom, the most intelligent subreddit on the internet. As always, I'm going to save the best meme for the end. And unfortunately, I am going to change the rules on the LED billboard truck. I'm still going to put the meme of the week on the LED billboard truck, but it's not going to be a weekly thing. I'm probably just going to save them all and dump them all once a month or once every six weeks or whatever. I'm just busy. It takes a lot of time to get to the LED billboard truck, y'all. So in exchange, the new weekly prize for meme of the week will be a tweet from me. Aww. I will tweet out the meme of the week. And without further ado, let's pull up the screens and jump into it. Leave hypotheticals in the subreddit, guys, and I'll give an answer. Usually it's a defense. Attorney Tom is half off at the moment. Buy one, get one free. You know what? I'm going to defend this meme or this sale, I should say. This is my second eye patch in the last year. I might have <laughs> lost the first one. I might have lost the first one and I had to buy the additional one. So, you know. It happened, okay? This doesn't warrant a knowledge hammer, but I'm just getting it ready. Wasn't a drop kick, but I think it's valid. <laughs> Dude. You, you don't drop kick or throw baby and that's a baby that's not even a toddler y'all come on that's just mean dude <laughs> <laughs> grab your very own knowledge hammer they are on sale they will never replace you with the nick ricada model knowledge hammer never is this legally binding texas roadhouse does not accept checks however we accept cash timber cattle horses camels yeah i mean in theory it's a private business they have the right to refuse checks they also have the right to refuse cash you see you see a bunch of businesses now saying they don't accept cash and all the other stuff you can barter there's nothing stopping a private business from accepting timber cattle horses or camels yeah, yeah. yeah you have to be a real chad to pay in timber would impacted drivers have a case against the state department of transportation okay why Tells me I'm not on black ice. So how the hell does that work? I said, if they're spraying water, you know it ain't ice. Oh, oh my. God. What the hell? They're spraying water? Is that water? Or is that the snow plow from the other side? Either way, people call all the time about these types of injuries. They are fairly common. And obviously in Texas where there's no snow, at least where I am, this is not an issue. But other things, you know, like potholes or defective, you know, construction design, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I was going to preface it by saying suing the government is very, very hard. It is very hard. Oftentimes there's some level of immunity, maybe even a higher burden, may maybe some some uh, extra notice to even get the case started. Like in Texas, we have uh, you have to put the government on no notice, the Texas Tort Act. So like before you even sue, you have to let them know that you're going to sue. And there's like a shorter uh, time to bring a case and your cap without knowing anything about how snow works, because, you know, Texas and <laughs> that seems pretty egregious to me. This seems at the very least negligent, maybe even grossly negligent. Why would you do that? What do you think is going to happen? You're on a freeway. People are going 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. What do you think is gonna happen, bro? I mean, look at all these. They're gonna spin out. What do you think is going to happen? Real quick, before we keep going, the sponsor of today's video is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anybody who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Invest in yourself and your personal growth. Whether you want to become a better video editor, creative writer, or even learn how to manage your personal finances, Skillshare has the course for you. I myself have taken MKBHD's Skillshare course about how to become a better YouTuber. And look at me now, I have a blimp. And for whatever it's worth, I turn away sponsorship opportunities left and right on this channel. Skillshare is actually the only sponsorship I've ever taken. 
on this YouTube channel. And that's because it offers a product that I believe adds value to the audience. So the first 1000 people to click the link down below in the description, get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Check it out if you want. Back to the video. When Tom decides to throw hands with Legal Eagle. Okay. okay. This is blasphemy. Ocean manual explosion sound. I'm dying. That's so bad. They know. They know what they did or didn't do, actually. Carnival Ride has power failure mid ride. How many different parties are liable? Venue, manufacturer, operator. That's a good question. I never go on carnival rides. Temporary carnival rides that get picked up and moved from location to location are extremely dangerous. Injuries happen all the time. <laughs> I was expecting, I don't know, like something cute. Like it just stops like a Ferris wheel. I don't know what I expect from Reddit. Actually, I, I should know better because Reddit is actually the wild west of the internet and you can see anything here. Yeah, so who's gonna be liable? So it's gonna be probably everybody. Everybody's gonna get sued. The manufacturer is gonna get sued. The operator is gonna get sued. The venue is gonna get sued because they might all share in the fault. You know, Every, everybody's gonna get sued. Everybody's gonna get sued. That's how, how it goes. And the jury's gonna have to sort it out. And potentially everybody's gonna have to pay, right? Attorney Tom, if everybody on that ride sued, would it be a class action? No, it wouldn't. Because the way class actions work is you need a commonality of things, right? Like the cause of action, which in here would probably be similar. But when you're dealing with injuries, injuries are often so different and so drastic from person to person, it just doesn't make sense to have a class action. Everybody would have their own individual case. A classical meme. Oh, derp. I never thought our son would make it this far. I know, honey. This catapult is amazing. Oh, uh, don't do that. People these days, I mean, really, no hard hat on a construction site. Repairing a sewage line. The fact that he is in the water and having to be held up by his colleagues, there's so much that can go wrong. There's so much that can go wrong. I'm seeing some Delta P in the chat. <laughs> oh my, there's somebody under there. They're holding people under the bucket. These are people. I am under the oh. water. Dude, this guy in the yellow bucket has not come up for air once. This guy, that was bad. Can I buy here lawyer advice as an NFT? Can I sell the NFT for a billion dollars? Then yes. To stiff the driver, count your effing days, DoorDash. I'm here dying, waited 45 minutes for this. Shit. What does that say? Leave a tip next time. And it might not have been this way. <laughs> you know, I feel conflicted about this. Maybe you tip after you get your food and then you like you tip accordingly. But I think a lot of people don't weren't doing that because a lot of people are pieces of So now you can tip before you get the food. And that is how they determine whose stuff to get when. 
a three-story mall that was still under construction started making some noises from the metal structures everyone was evacuated and five minutes later the collapse occurred oh my well i'm glad they evacuated damn I'll tell you what some architect and engineering firms are going to get fired somebody's builder insurance agent just had a stroke everybody in charge of making that's going to get sued for sure could he sue workplace or homeowners when you don't cover your ass with amazon protection is there Amazon protection? Ass with Amazon protection. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Oh. No. Yeah. Oh God. Oh. Rip, bro. Rip. Is there Amazon protection? This would probably be under his workplace insurance. When you don't cover your ass with Amazon protection. Oh my God. <gasps> Ooh. I mean, he got hurt on the job. His job is going into people's homes and delivering packages. It's not really like the homeowner did anything negligent. Yeah, I don't know. Attorney Tom moment. I was leaving Kroger's and this woman outside with her baby in a stroller asking for money. I was about to give her some money. This man yells out, don't give her ass no money. That baby ain't real. Then he runs over and kicks the stroller. I'll be damned. The baby wasn't real. <laughs> she yelled, damn you, Gary. Shout out to Gary. He the scam police okay well gary was very confident okay gary was very confident in his abilities do not drop kick unless you are a hundred percent confident that there is no baby inside the carriage i made a red account just to show y'all this oh <laughs> we're calling it this is the meme of the week we're gonna tweet it in real time look at that here we go boom tweet it is tweeted out it is tweeted out man of my word he's a catastrophic injury attorney who accidentally became a youtuber attorney Tom.